Hello everyone, I'm Emmanuel Innocent, a student of Electronica and Electrical Engineering back in Yawewe University. So we're here to demonstrate um, our FPGA, um, our vending machine based on FPGA here, given to us in E308, digital circuits, design and analysis. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to be doing first. Um, it's a demonstration, so with the help of our um, 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 transition state diagrams, state transition diagrams, and we have some um, annotations here to help understand what button means. What. So here, here's the board. Yeah, you have, we're going to make use of the switch. And the switch, this switch is on um, LEDs here. So quickly to know what they all mean. Let's go here. The first LED, LED zero, it's cookie. When it comes on, it means cookie is being dispensed. When this comes on, water is being dispensed. So that when this comes on, it means you're getting your change. Then these LEDs are there to tell us the state in which we are. So we're here. This idle. The machine is idle. When we're here, it's enter cash, dispense, enter, and get your change. When um oh no, it's actually a mistake. It's supposed to be the switch. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for the LED. When this LED comes on, it means the machine has been reset. So there's nothing, nothing can happen when it's in reset state. So this is the, um, the switch to use to reset. And these two keys, they are the only keys we're going to be using. Their, their functions will be changing depending on the states. So we can't really say for now, but this PB, it's just the two keys we have right here. The first one is P, the second one is B. Yeah. So quickly, let me take us through the um, state transition diagram. First, when on idle, when we're in idle states, um, and the key B is um, is being pressed, we move to enter um, enter cash. Here, yeah, the the input condition have to be zero because normally when the LED the switch is not being pressed, it will remain this way. It's on. So we for us to um, simulate that action, it has to be zero. So we move to zero, and still in the states, all um, by all item LED, we mean everything that is everything that is possible to be dispensed. The, they are all zero, no output from there. So when we get, then we move to when we enter cash, the um, key P and B, they serve the function of um, getting the money. So when B is being pressed, it means that 15 naira has been um, entered. When P is pressed, it means um, 100 naira has been entered. So why now right now when enter cash we're pressing B um, when we press P until the price is greater than the minimum price we move to this or when it max we move to dispense then when we dispense you want to do um, you you press the um, B button it means you want the cookie so you get the cookie out then the cookie LED comes on it's one or you may want water if you want water you press the P button then the water LED comes on, then you get change. When we get change, if you want to perform more transaction, um, you, you press the P button, then you go back to enter cash to ask you for more money. Then this, if you, you're done, you press this, you go back to ID. So to quickly demonstrate this. So right now, remember we said, um, this um the LED um, six, let me reset so first let's reset to make sure everything comes well so resetting you can see led 5 tells us when reset states why this led 9 tells us that when reset so in reset we can't do anything these guys will not respond so so then when um i do so let's make some transaction so we want to we want some water it's kind of dry here. it's the dry season here so we need water to hydrate ourselves so now um i mean i do for me to move to i do um to enter cash i need to press the b button this guy does not function during i do states it's only this so it moves to enter cash remember led6 tells us that we enter cash so you can check that out okay so so right now we enter cash so um we for we need to Keep on pressing this button depending on which denomination, denomination we want to enter in order to this we add up to the price the money we want to so let's add this 
100 mirror, 100 mirror. And but on right now, let me just quickly say something. Um, the clock frequency for this is quite slow. It's one edge, so that's why this may not respond on time. So we just have to keep. So now in dispense. So right now, so dispense. You can confirm that like that from the this thing. Um, the, you can maybe return the video back to check confirm again. What? So right now, this tells us that when dispense. So right now, what do we want? Okay. So um, dispense. So what do we want to dispense water? So we press this. So it's telling us water came up. Before this, it blinked water. So right now, the next one when and um, gets changed. So to get our change, I will get in change. No, that's all the transaction I want to make. So. All I just need to do, or you say if you want to make another transaction, just have to still press P. And it takes us back to enter cash again. Okay, then that's all. Um, this presentation is um, on behalf of Group 13 in 308 um, lab projects. Yeah. Thank you.